morning. Um, what a lovely morning it is too. Today we're going to be talking about uh, soft plastics and uh, weedless lures. So um, I've got quite a few in here actually that I want, that I want to talk about. Because I'm covered in sand some of them. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, yeah, don't forget, if you're new to bass fishing, don't forget to visit our website, um, bassmasterselite.co.uk. There's a 300 page ebook on there that you can uh, download. And, um, you know, and if you're new, if you mean you probably, if, you're, if you've been fishing ages, it's probably nothing you don't already know. But for anybody who's new and struggling with their bass fishing, then don't forget to visit our website. Anyway, let's get into the video. Right then, so the uh, first um, soft plastic is probably number one. It always comes with us. Is the uh, Savage Gear Sand Hill. Now this is the obviously the lemon back. Wrong head, but never mind. That's because... I never had, I never had the right head. See, the thing is, it always seemed to lose. If we lose the lures on the rocks, if we risk using them, because they're another one, you know, like the zonks and that. Really, if you're fishing in the water and you're standing in the water and you're, and you're, you know, it's quite shallow, you're going to lose them, especially in the tide run, because they're going to drift around a rock. There's no two ways about it, and you're going to get snagged. I mean, uh, even with weedless lures it's not a guarantee that you're not going to lose them not in that scenario obviously if you're higher up out of the water and you're standing on a promenade or you know damn well that you've got a bit of depth of water you you'd put you could probably get away with you'd get away you probably would get away with it so um yeah that's the, that's the uh, savage gear that's probably our number one as far as uh the soft plastics go this is obviously a much much bigger version I've not really used that much, but it's nice to have them. You know, they're, that's a killer. I mean, about that in a boat, that would be an absolute bloody belter. But I'll probably try using that again this year if we get a chance. You know, if we get head down south, we, we may might give that a go. This is actually um, a copy. Now, I don't know why I bought that. Did I get it on AliExpress? I don't know, but that's it's I'll tell you what, there ain't no difference really. I should have got a few of them to be honest. The only difference with it is that the um the actual body feels a bit uh just feels not quite the same. It's not as soft as a, as on the Savage Gears. Remember, because when you buy these, like I said earlier, did I say I can't remember? You get a spare body with the with the with the head, we you know, with the whole thing it comes as one and then you get a spare body. But I always find I end up with I've got bodies everywhere that of uh, spare lures I never actually get to put I'm not very good at putting them on as you can see but practice makes perfect I suppose doesn't it anyway that's the uh, Savage Gear Sand Hill great lure right next is the um, is the famous Scary Zeal now Honestly, I've hardly ever used it. I mean, that I used it just to see what the action was like in the water. Cause it's the same scenario, you know, around our way, the, the shallower water, you, you're going to just bloody lose them, do you know what I mean? But i tell you what, I tell you what it is with these. Why I got them was because I put on, I put on the, one of the Facebook forums. I can't remember which one it was. Oh, I don't know. So there's so many nowadays. I will remember it. I'll, I'll give my plug later, or whatever. It. Um, I put what? What is your ultimate favourite lure? This was this was about two years ago or whatever. Now, me, it's me thinking it was going to be the zonk or the bloody tackle house feed shell. It wasn't. The majority of people said it was this, the scary zeal. I mean, I know that it's very very popular around the Channel Islands. I mean, there's a there's a geezer who does the videos. There's smash fishing or something like that he he's always using them i mean they do really really well i mean they fish all year round it's probably a lot deep deeper sort of waters this is the uh darker version i bought this to try this out at night time because you know black or white they say i mean like i say the only other black lure i've got was um is that what you call it I mean, the, 
the Joker, the, the the IMA Joker, the Kimono Two Joker, which is which is black with a you know a bit of colour, bloody grey. Anyway, that's the uh, Scary Zeal. Yeah, great little lure. I'll have to try and catch something on it though, I'm afraid. <laughs> Next one is is uh, obviously a weedless. It's probably the most popular weedless out there, and that is the fish minnow. This is the only one I've got. Now I don't really use it that often. Well, I'm not hard, hardly ever actually hardly ever use it. That's a that's a lie. Not because they're not good lures, not at all. It just just don't use it. Just it's in there. It's just one of them lures I bought. I'll tell you why I bought it. Because about probably about three years, not something I really want to remember to be honest. I'll be totally honest with you. We went, we would, we started, we started fishing about March, which is fairly early for us really. But we'd obviously gone down south, Folkestone sort of way, and uh, I must have gone fifteen times, right? And blanked fifteen times, right? I've never known Bassman to to blank like he was either but he had caught a couple of times and that the only thing he was catching him on was on this fish minnow white fish minnow with a red head it's the only thing that was catching fish when i'd been there i mean he did have one about nine pound i must admit bloody cracker but it's the only fish we'd fished all night we'd been going absolute rubbish now the reason why that was was because that year we had the um we had that really adverse weather the beast from the east it was a real freezing freezing cold all the crabs of dead crabs had been washed up on the beaches and everything and that's why i think that was such a slow start really so that's enough to make put anybody off 15 must have been around about 15 blanks on the trot now it's funny because the year before we started fishing early in march then we was bloody catching them straight away but ages got there in the end though started catching them as it as it warmed up do you know what i mean but crikey what a bad start but that is probably the most popular weedless lure out there and that's the fish minnow this oh, is a great lure i mean i should use it i mean up here it's it's, it's like the it's like the other ones you know unless the water is going to be really deep i wouldn't risk using it because it's just going to just like throwing money away basically Is uh, where is it? Ah, uh, here he is. Is the uh, pirate seducer weedless? Look very, very popular at the moment. These uh, pirate seducers comes in all sorts of colours. Obviously, I've got white. I mean, I really should get out of that a little bit. It always seems to be for me white at night. It seems what it seems to be what works. But uh, reading a little article, um, someone else's article, really good bass fishing actually from down Devon way he was explaining about why white works at night times and when when to use it and everything so I have to go over that again and then maybe try some of his tactics but anyway I'll tell you a little story about this one night we was fishing here you know there was a uh, peat fish absolutely everywhere like a carpet of blanket of bait fish everywhere and there was bass jumping out little bass schoolies couldn't catch couldn't catch nothing. No, they just weren't taking anything. Well, obviously they were feeding on bait fish. Anyway, there was a fly fisherman that was comes along comes along with us, and uh, he had a couple. But the, the difference is, I think, is the fact that these little fly the flies that he was using were like skinny little. I was going, what are they called? I don't know. Skinny little things, uh, enticers or something like that, and um, they probably look more like uh, more like the bait fish. But he had he had, only had, a, had a couple. But anyway, I moved from where I'd fished and I'd I'd gone to another location. Then all of a sudden, I see that there was a few few um, bass in front of me, only little ones jumping out. Anyway, so I thought I'd risk one of these and try it because obviously it wasn't really that deep of water. Bloody, would you believe it? Bang! First cast I had one on the, on one of these. That's the pirate seducer. I'm not saying you know it's it's always going to be that like that. Remember, these are bodies are separate. The uh, the hook actually screws in we'll go through that when i go over the hooks a little bit later but yeah pirate seducer 
killer. Next up is the um, is the Alibi snack. White again? No, oh, Jesus Christ! It's not as quiet as white as that one, though. It's not. Oh well, no, that's not. Not quite as white as the. Old, that is pure white. That is. But um, yeah, this is uh, the Alby snack. Oh, another one so popular. I think people just use these all the time. Now, if I had my own way, and if I knew that I could catch fish or use these all the time, I think I would because just that one hook affair. Like I said in the other video, you know. Sometimes with us, if I take it right down, it's almost I feel cool. I might even bend all my bloody barbs down and go barbously for sod blues. And if it makes it easier, they don't always obviously swallow it right down. But with just one hook, that's all you've got to worry about. Easy. Normally, it's always in the lip, you know. But that's the Alby snack. <laughs> Absolute crushing it, they are. Great lures. And uh, I was trying to be a bit clever with this one. I, look, I actually stuck my own eyes on it to make it look a little, I don't know if it'll make a difference, I don't know if it's easier, yeah? but you know, like that, just stuck my own eyes on it, see if that might make a little tiny bit of a difference, I don't think anybody else does, but but I have, and it's actually, it's the little, uh, the little thing that they that you get with them, there's one falling off there, look, it's stuck on the tail of another one, but that's the uh, eyes, I bought them off eBay, if you wanted to use the eyes to maybe make your own lures or whatever, you know, you can, you can do that. Make sure you stick them on probably. I wouldn't rely on the stickiness of that though. And that's the, uh, that's the eyes. eBay, I think I got them. Right. Slowly getting through them. Right, the next one is the, uh, is the Gary Yamamoto Senko. Now, uh, I've only got, I got given this. Well, this is, bit shorter than than uh, normal there's another absolute crusher even in america ever, ever so popular with the bass and it's not the same bass fishing as us but ever so popular over there uh this one you know this is they're they're, they're a lot longer than the other you know, they seem a lot longer this one's cut short you can see that's much much longer now, some people reckon that they lose fish because the bass just grabs the grabs the tail and is not actually getting that bit of the blimmin' hook. But, having saying that, other people say that that's not the case because the bass actually suck in the whole lot. Well, that's, I don't know. I've, I've not been down there to actually watch them take in the lure. You know, I don't know about that, so I'm not going to... Uh, I won't dispute any of it, to be honest. I mean, I've not really used it, to be honest, but I think I'll give it a go this year. It's another one. This was actually, I mentioned the fly fisherman. He, when he goes lure fishing, that's all him and his mate ever use is the Senko. So, Gary Yamamoto Senko. Killer. Right then. The, uh, the last little one that we're going to go over is uh, the Elix Nitro Sprat. Now, uh, this is quite a heavy look. I can imagine this going miles. Never used it. But I probably will. I probably will. Oh, shit. I will have a go with it one day. It's covered in sand. But, yeah, it's um, just one of them. I just bought it on the on the, um, on the the off. I just was scouring through it. It looked a bit different. So, Sometimes it's nice to have a little change. I should imagine that probably be better in the daytime, actually. Really clear water, you know, when there's nothing about it. Just keep bunging that out. It's probably going to go bloody miles, to be honest, because it weighs quite a bit. I don't know how much it weighs. I should have looked on the box. Right, as you can notice with that, you can see that that isn't very good in the old... the body going into the head. I mean, a lot of them are quite like that. But what people tend to do is actually stick the head into stick the body into the head you can uh you can i think you use super glue i've never actually done it so i'm I'm not really practicing what i preach here but you can buy the glue the special glue on uh on some of the websites lurefishingforbass.co.uk they they they've got they've got the glue the special glue anyway that's the um the nitro spat sprat scad whatever it is anyway 
That's, uh, that's the last of the soft plastics, I'm afraid. I don't think there's any more. Oh, there is the missionary. Well, I haven't got the head for that, so I, I lost two of them when the water was too shallow. There you go. But that, they're good, but that's only the tail, but no good. I haven't got the head, so that's the end of the old uh, soft plastics. So just uh, get on with it. As I said earlier, I was just going to uh, show you the hooks and how to um, quickly rig one of them up. I mean, there are videos on on YouTube. Now these are the uh, the Eagle Claw Trocar Mag Swim Bait. They're called. Don't know where they come from. If you look on the back of that, these hooks are just evil absolutely evil I've never never ever seen a hook like that I don't know whether you can see that or not but that actual hook is actually beveled to a perfect perfect point I mean they're as bloody sharp as you like but that is the uh, that is the uh, weedless lure I'm not sure, so, sure what size that is that's um that's the 3 -0. I just before I actually show you I'm just going to show you show you how to put it together I'm just going to quickly show you these other hooks that I've got now these ones, I order, I'm sure I ordered these off AliExpress, but these, what you actually do is, as they go it bloody absolutely everywhere, these just come, obviously they just come like that, and then you can buy these actual, uh, actual little spring things, they actually screw into the actual lure, and then obviously you just uh, slip it over like that, and it, it sits on there, and you can do it that way, but I think I prefer the other ones to be honest. But, I mean, you buy a little, it costs hardly anything, you get bloody hundreds of them. I've never used that many in my lifetime. But um, that's the single looks. Anyway, I'll just put them away before one of the cats treads on it. Right then, um, right then, so here we go. Then I'll just quickly show you this. I mean, like this is your Albie snack. You just, just get the screw thing. Just stick it in the end like that. Screw that in. There you go. Then what we do is we line it up first to see where it's going to come out. Obviously that's quite important. So I can see that's about there. So you see how I've bent that down? And obviously, if you don't get it right, it don't matter, you can go back through anyway. And then, yeah, like that. And that's it, basically. And uh, I would put a bit of grease on something on that, just, just to, so it slips around that hook. Oh, yeah, see, that's a little bit better already. And that's uh, that's how we um, hook them up. That's your Albie snack. If I have done it wrong, Jesus, let me know. I don't think I have. I think that's pretty perfect, to be honest. Right, well that's the end of the old uh, soft plastic and weedless lures uh, video. Um, if you like the video, make sure you uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be uh, notified when we get a new video come out. I mean, as the old, uh, as this all all uh, winds up, all this bloody lockdown and everything, we can uh, get back out there and um, catch some proper fish and we'll be filming it so the films will be virtually coming straight on onto onto YouTube. So thanks for watching anyway.